Welcome back guys. So today just want to go through and take a look at Motion Blue version 5. This is an image that I've been kind of messing around with. I have never used version 5 of Motion Blue since it was dropped by David Marty. I remember downloading the base image and just never doing anything with it. I don't know why because I always like Motion Blue but now I've done you know some stuff set up an image 128 gigabytes and I'm really digging Motion Blue version 5. I have not used Attract Mode in the longest time, but here we are, once again, using Attract Mode. So just wanted to peep this out real quick. A lot of um, awesome collections set up, you know, for your ROMs that you add on here. So I have all these set. You can easily remove the collections because there's a ton of them. You see all these classics, which are the, uh, you know, systems and or different companies, arcade companies, Trackball, Vector Classics, Williams, um, and then MAME's going to be like all of our arcade games, which on here I do have 2,672 games, quite a bit, and I've tested all of these over the past like four or five months or so to ensure they all work, but with updating and stuff like that, you lose some compatibility, and I've gone through double-checking as much as I can because um, this, I have updated the RetroPie 4.3, uh, you know, and updated a lot of the uh, the packages and emulators and stuff like that. And so far, everything's been running very smooth, no issues. Uh, this is a different ROM set than what I used on the Swine Apple image, even though some of it is going to be the same. But this is a different arcade set that I used to use, and I've continually edited and gone through. So there's a ton of games, awesome stuff. I, I'm big on arcade. That's where it's at for me. So, bam, 2,600, over 2,600 arcade games. And then, like I said, you got a lot of the companies and stuff. So, Van Presto, a lot of sweet stuff that Van Presto did. Definitely cool having these collections set up to, like, kind of peep through and see who's done what and try some stuff out and make it a little easier to search through. So, some of these collections really do come in handy. CPS 1, 2, and 3. Uh, you know, I like having those separated just because um, it's arcade stuff and I like, you know, the Capcom arcade games. So I have those all stay in that way. Same thing with Cave. Love Cave and all their shooters and whatnot. Pretty sweet stuff. But you can, you know, with, with Motion Blue version 5, you can go ahead and change out the... Um, those what you call it those displays you know you can do it manually by going into your configuration and just you know turning off the displays for stuff that you don't want say we don't want midway classics we can turn it off in the cycle or in the menu that kind of thing you know takes it off but then there's also a utility that's in here uh where is she at a lot of cool stuff in here so displays utilities, you can go in there and, and remove collections and classics and stuff like that all in one big swoop without having to do them individually. So there's a lot of cool little options with Motion Blue. Really dig it. So that's, you know, mostly the uh, arcade stuff. Then we do have Daphne. Daphne. Ah, I like to include it just because I know at some point I'll probably want to play one of these games. But I've never been good at them. I don't know too many people who are good at these games. I'm sure there's some masters out there, but hey, occasionally I do like jump in the Dragon's Lair, peep that out, Space Ace, that kind of thing. So those are on here. Super Don Coyote, I've I've played it. It's all right, but like I said, I Daphne, uh, I got to really be in the mood for that. Atari 2600, you know, get all the videos, the box art, stuff like that. Pretty sweet stuff. 5200 and 7800 ColecoVision as well 140 games up in there Let's see what else vectrex i think there's only like 20 something games 20 20 games i'll play some of these occasionally um it's been a little while but they're kind of fun super graphics should only be like five i don't think there's very many super graphics games but there you go there's five of them really cool games though you know here we go turbo graphics 16 should be like 94 Yep, 94. It's pretty standard. But I, I just dig the way Motion Blue is set up. Box art, video snaps. As long as you have everything set up properly. If you have that artwork, everything named to the game lists, 
you should be good. Pretty pretty easy stuff. That's that's the biggest thing. Making sure everything coincides, the naming conventions on the games and the artwork. That's the biggest thing with this is you know to have a clean looking image, to make sure all your wheel art and whatnot is here. Oh, and here's Turbo Graphics 16 CD, which I'm actually messing with PC Engine CD stuff as well. Um, it's a handful of games I want to get up on here. But, you know, just a handful, five of them for now. So Ease, Book 1 and 2, and Book 3, or Wanderers from Ease 3, whatever it's called. Bonks, Big Ass Adventure. Boom. Love Bonk. Buster Bros, love that game in the arcade. Dungeon Master, so there you go. Pretty sweet stuff. I'm definitely going to be adding to that quite a bit because I have a huge collection of TurboGrafx CD and PC Engine CD games, and I just want to make sure they work. Nintendo 64, not very many ever, because I never like messing with Nintendo 64 on here. It's always hit and miss. I only put games that I know run very well. There's a lot of games that do run, but they don't run well enough for me. If they're choppy or slow, I don't want to mess with them. So there's only like four there. NES, love the NES. My God. There's still a handful of cartridges, because I collect NES cartridges. Not too many, just games that I love. I'm not a huge collector, but there's still a handful of NES games that I want to get. Uh, the one that I've been looking for, let me see if it's on here. It should be on here. I cannot find this for a good price. So if anybody ever finds it for a good price, let me know. Wampum, I was on the hunt for that, but the price has skyrocketed on that. I remember years ago driving like an hour away to go buy that game for like five bucks from somebody because I remember having it when I was younger and it was just so awesome. But now I have the Famicom release, the uh, Sayuki Journey to the West 2. And it's the same game, just some minor edits. But that's not the game I'm talking about. Stop getting the sidetracked. What's going on here? Let me find her. Is she on here? Yes, right here. Vice Project Doom. We've played this on stream a handful of times and I really want a legitimate cartridge of this game. I cannot find one for a reasonable price. So if anybody, you know, wants to trade or something, let me know. Or if you get the heads up on a good deal, let me know because I'm looking for that cart. But there we go. NES, just looking sweet. Over 700 games. Super Nintendo. One of my all-time favorite systems as well. 745 up on there. Famicom Disk System. Love the Famicom Disk System. I have one. Have a handful of uh, discs, but I do like using the, the FDS stick to play on my AVS and play some of these games. Pretty sweet. But there are some little sketchy games in there, though. Super Famicom. Quite a bit of English translated games that I have in here. And I know I've done that. Like, I've done only English translations on other things that I've worked on. But this one, I just put, like, you know, everything that I that I had. So... It's like 445 games. There's still some cool stuff in there, but all the the role-playing game stuff like that, they're all English translated. Neo Geo, man, one day I'll have a real Neo Geo. Expensive, though. Expensive. 140 games. Sweet stuff. Classic. Love the little cartridge down there with the box art. Sweet. Looking pretty legit. 32X, what is that? What's that going to be? 24 games on this. I think I might be missing a handful. Eh, I'm missing a handful, but that's okay. I might have to double check. I might have them on there. Just have to check the naming, but 32X, nice. Sega CD should be a little over 20. 24, pretty cool. Used to have a Sega CD. Awesome stuff. Dreamcast, just a handful here. I'm still working on a, a set to do just like a CD-based image. Of Dreamcast, PlayStation, TurboGrafx, CD, Sega CD, that kind of thing. I think it would be pretty cool to have just a CD-based system only. I think that would be pretty legit. Sega Genesis, 721, what? And then Master System, what do we got here? 240? Mega Drive? So this is European release stuff, but it's essentially going to be the same. That's just the Sega Genesis, to be honest. For the most part. For the most part, it's all the same stuff. The one that's different is going to be this one, Mega Drive. This one is Japanese Mega Drive, though. So these two, Genesis and, and this Mega Drive, are essentially the same thing. 
This one is Japanese release titles. So 195 of those. Might peep some of that stuff out. Mega CDs, the same thing as Sega CD. Could turn those off so they're not showing up. Just have one or the other. But, hey, there's options. SG-1000. 62 games. Pretty fun. I've played a handful of those. PlayStation 1. We got 15 games up on here. This one doesn't show up um, the wheel art for Bushido Blade just because it's black. It's kind of hard to see on the motion blue background, but that's no fault to the to the theme. It's more so to the logo. You know what I'm saying? Chocobo Racing. I don't know why, but when I was doing that PlayStation image, I got hooked on this game. So I, I don't know. That's why it's here because I like playing it. Crash Bandicoot, Final Fantasy Tactics, Street Fighter Alpha. EX, EX Plus, 2, what? Tomb Raider, Tomba, pretty cool stuff. Definitely expanding on that. Atari Lynx, 75. I had an Atari Lynx, pretty sweet. Wish I still had one. Love those weird little cartridges. Wonder Swan, you know, there's a handful of cool stuff in here. All Japanese, though, so... You know, this is something that could be removed if... Didn't really want to bother with Japanese stuff, but it's there. Nintendo DS should just be a small handful. 21 games. Pretty interesting stuff. Game & Watch, what? There we go. I knew there was one. Dungeons & Dragons. I gotta find my wheel art for that. I have it. Don't know why I didn't double check, make sure I put it on here. But I do have the wheel art for Dungeons and Dragons. So I remember that one bothered me before and I made sure I got artwork for it. The Game & Watch is one that some people don't really care for. I might not even leave it on there. Game Boy, what we got up in here? 565. Game Boy Advance, it's going to be over a thousand. This one doesn't have the edits that I normally do. This is, you know, almost everything. Some of the stuff edited out. Some of the double packs, but there's still a few on there. But no big deal. They don't take up that much space. But it does fluff out the list a little bit. Game Boy Color, 535. There's some sweet stuff in the Game Boy Color. Seriously. Seriously. Virtual Boy, 20 games. Kind of kind of fun, but, you know, if you don't like red, you're going to get annoyed really quick. Neo Geo Pocket 3. Pocket Color. Fody. Love the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Wish I would have kept it, man. Some of those games have skyrocketed in price. Game Gear. 155. There's some cool stuff on here. Commodore 64, what do we got? 2,058, but a lot of that's going to be like the extra the extra um, discs or whatever part, like side A and side B. So it's not actually that many games. It's just the additional sides to some of them. Odyssey 2 or Video Pack, 81. MSX, 547. Nice. The Sinclair ZX Spectrum. 270. What? And then a bunch of collections. That can, like I said, either be turned off altogether or turned off individually. No big deal. But still pretty cool stuff. Castlevania Collection. What? I haven't really dug through these, but it just pulls, you know, the games for that collection from all the systems and puts them all together. For ease of access, you know what I'm saying? So this is what I've done with, with Motion Blue version 5. I'm going to be like you know expanding upon it and doing some other stuff with it. But just wanted to share this. I think Motion Blue is pretty awesome. You can always download the base image from David Marty and put together your own. Do what you got to do. Um, you just need to provide artwork, BIOS files, games, that kind of stuff. But as far as the base image goes, that building your own... Motion Blue is pretty cool, I think.
It's pretty sweet. Like I said, I haven't really messed with uh, track mode in a long while. And, you know, revisiting a track mode and looking at Motion Blue version 5. I remember why I really liked the track mode. You know, but they've been doing a lot of stuff adding on Emulation Station where a lot of us have just, you know, kind of stuck to Emulation Station for a while. There's been a lot of new themes and whatnot, so the interest has been, you know, staying consistent with all the work that's being done out there. So figured, hey, now's the time to go back to a track mode and peep it out. You know what I'm saying? Never mess with Motion Blue version 5. I wish I would have messed with it sooner because I'm really, really digging this. So... Appreciate you guys stopping in, peeping this out. I'm beat, tired. It's been a long couple days. You know what I'm saying? Smash it, like it, hit that notification bell, do all that wonderful stuff. With that said, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Boom!